every person will go from this to this to this to this and finally to this but this is not meant to be a depressing or boring presentation instead I just want to tell you about some things I found interesting when studying human growth and development okay first thing I learned Teenagers cannot self-report on a study to save their lives, especially when it comes to their sex lives. Second, play is very important to people of all ages, not just children. Obviously, the games change as we grow older, but we still like to experiment with various devices. Third, children learn better when they are taught through a song or music. Fourth, Video games apparently lead to short attention spans. Who would have thunk it? Uh, I think it's a pretty good plan. We should be able to pull it off this time. Uh, what do you think, Abdul? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33, uh, repeating, of course, percentage of survival. Well, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or? do this. Leroy Dragons! Oh my god, he just ran in. Save him! Oh jeez, stick to the plane! Oh jeez, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stick to the pledge, Jeff! Stick to the plane! Fifth, gender stereotypes are demonstrated to us from birth, and by age four to five, we have been programmed to follow these stereotypes. Sixth, it appears that nature may have more to do with gender than originally predicted. However, it is still unknown how much of a factor it really is. Seventh, people who are bilingual have a lower risk of developing Alzheimer's than people who are not bilingual. Plus, bilingual learners have higher test scores on standardized tests. Eighth, latchkey kids are more likely to be involved in drugs, alcohol abuse, and delinquency. However, use of after-school programs is likely to prevent these behaviors. Ninth, most step families actually have close relationships. I always assumed that many of them had relationships similar to that of Cinderella with her evil stepmother. Tenth, I learned about different learning disorders that I had never heard of, such as dyscalculia, dyspraxia, and dysgraphia. I now have some ideas of how to handle them in the classroom, if I ever see them. Having a top ten list is all well and good, but what will I really take from this class? I will use most of this information in my classroom to help me understand my students and to become a more effective educator. Every person develops at a different pace and does not have the same environment or background. However, the students in a classroom can bring many different ideas to the table and can provide a richer learning experience than it would be if everyone had the same or a similar background. So let's celebrate our differences. Otherwise, this would be a pretty boring world, now wouldn't it? Recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes.